Welcome to Tensifers HQ. I'm Drea. And I'm Will. And we're the Tensifers. Okay. On this episode, we're going to be talking about another release from Preferably Naughty. Oh, Christmas Night. In the studio with the Tensifers, where they talk about how they make that all original Christmas music. It used to be called Christmas Doll. That was the original title. Titles are subject to change. They are. Christmas Night is a fun little song, only about 174 BPM, <laughs> mixing Christmas with drum and bass, something I've been wanting to do going on many years now, uh, almost a decade. Yeah. But on Christmas Night, it really works. On a friend of ours years ago gave us a CD that had a lot of DJ remix type Christmas songs on it. It was real atmospheric. Yeah, down tempo, trip hop. Moody. Some up tempo, moody, almost techno y stuff. And Christmas night, I wanted to bring a little bit of that DJ feel into the drum and bass. And I'm really inspired off a lot of British music. So. Well, he spent a lot of time overseas when he was a kid, and his dad was military. Yeah, well, and your dad was military. Yeah, but I didn't get to go overseas like you did. He just came back and told me, I went to all these amazing places because he was Navy and his was Air Force. We're both military brats, and this one I wanted to bring some of that British drum and bass style into a Christmas song, sprinkle with some, you know, you know, tinsel furs, stylings and mix it up in there and sprinkle with the, you know, put a little tinsel for sprinkled on top um, magic. and like brew it up see how see how it end up coming out and it actually ended up working out incredibly well i was surprised at really surprised at how well it ended up turning out and it's actually one of my favorite christmas songs we've done i think this one's kind of like the elf on the shelf if you saw our previous videos about elf on the shelf was a song he didn't really like that much and then he redid all the music and now it's one of his favorites and i think christmas doll was kind of like that too because you're like what's this about i'm like mm, it's still our love story just in a different theme and then he just totally changed the music and now once again it's one of his favorites yeah i'm kind of like that if i don't like something instead of just complaining about it i do something about it and just kind of change it. I mean, he complains about it first, though. And then I go, Let okay, me do something about it. Let me, yeah, I because I know what I don't like about it. And I'm like, well, let me take the, what I don't like out and keep what I like, and I usually keep you. Well, knowing what you want a lot of times takes knowing what you don't want first. So yeah. it took us a while, too. <laughs> but, but, yeah, we figured it. And lyric-wise... Uh, lyric wise I had so much fun with this because in my mind so it's a love story but it's one of those love stories where hold on it's not public yet it's a love story in a Christmas song that's such an original idea why didn't you come up with this before <laughs> you've never done that before almost every song that's why I'm gonna <laughs> challenge myself for us to do a whole album where none of them are love songs oh wait the volume two, I think, is turning out to not be that way. So we shall see. We shall see. That would be Tensifer's volume two coming out for this Christmas of 2024. In a few months, we'll be doing this again for the volume two. So, um, yeah, so this one was a lot of fun because I took the idea of it being a secret love because it kind of was for a while. Um, and the first two verses, though the second verse is now gone, are about having that secret love and being willing to be the secret love. And so it's, it's it originally was called Christmas Doll. And it's like, I will be your Christmas doll. And for Christmas, you know, you can have me or whatever. And I'll be your doll for Christmas or whatever. Um, yeah, it's a little naughty. That's why it's all preferably naughty. I mean, good, clean, naughty fun. But still, you can, I'll be your doll. That's a little bit risque. But anyway, hey. so then in the... Consent. Consent, for sure. In the third verse, they realize what's going on, and it's not just a secret romance anymore, and it becomes a real thing, and then it's, I'll be your Christmas doll for you all year, or whatever. So you will you won't hear the second verse unless you're a um, Christmas geek, which is an endearing term for those of you who are so into the lyrics and the different versions that you are like, I gotta know what the second verse was, and what that alternative mix sound like. So it'll be in the fan experience for you. She originally wrote three verses. I ended up taking one verse out because I doubled the length of the chorus and I added the Christmas night 
part, so I kind of dj this one up a bit. I don't normally DJ up some things quite this much, but um, this one just felt like it needed to go there, and she really liked what I did. I loved it. and It sounds awesome. I'm yeah. just saying, if you're like one of those people who want to know the skinny on everything, it's in the fan experience, but it won't be on the final version. I got to pull out my vocoder and uh, put some vocoder parts, which... You know, I'm an old vocoder fan, but I don't always use it, so that was fun. Yeah. Tensor phys <laughs> So, <laughs> if you like more notifications, hit the hit the bell, subscribe below, hit the like button, Back. and enjoy Christmas night. Chris. Must night. Tensor for HQ. Dining off. Tensor for Christmas music.